What's going on, True Tan? Hey man, this man, this video is for like the younger, the younger kids, 18, 17, 16, and younger, like five, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to I'm about to really make a video for y'all because I want y'all to really understand. You know it's fucked up, man, when young kids out here losing their life the way they lose their life out here, bro. It's it's crazy. Cause as you as you see kids growing up and shit, man, you start to realize like, damn man, what if it's your kid or what if it's the next person kid or what if it's the next person kid and you know one thing i learned about life is that motherfuckers don't get involved in shit until they kids get affected or today family get affected or a situation but in reality i feel like you always should get involved because it's kids that's young as shit out here losing their life for no reason kids be losing their life every damn day for no reason you got to be willing to understand like are you willing to grow as a community let the community get, grow up and get in shambles as a community, not be there for each other. Because this mother's out here losing their sons at a young age. These niggas not even seeing 21, 22 either. Niggas not even hitting the 20 mark. It's like the black community of itself. That's why I don't support Black Lives Matter. You want to know why? Because it's like we kill each other, hate on each other so goddamn much to where we don't even want to see a young nigga win or a young black man win, period. You dig what I'm saying? I don't be appreciating shit like that. I feel like everybody has their repercussions in life. Everybody got their karma. Everybody goes through something. But it's fucked up when the mother has to see her youngest son die. That may be her best son in her motherfucking life. She know her son ain't perfect. She know her son ain't a saint. But she knew who her son actually was. Just like I know with some fathers out here, my nigga, that probably ain't meant to get to meet their kid or get to be in their kid's life, my nigga. But when they seen their kid on the news that died, they got so much regret for it. You dig what I'm saying? It's like, I look at shit like this, man. Younger than 18, like how, 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 how y'all be so young. Niggas be carrying guns at a young age. We did it though, bro. But it was a different kind of situation for us. Niggas didn't lose their lose they life at a younger age. Niggas lost their life as they got older. And some niggas had respect for certain situations. But now it's like, man, motherfuckers ain't got no remorse nowadays. Coming in your house, shooting your crib up. These young niggas nowadays, I see it every day. Cleveland, Philly, New Jersey, Chicago, bro. It's crazy, bro. Like the world that we living in now is just uh, predicted around violence. And nobody else gives a fuck but who gives a fuck until it's crazy. People want to do something until something happened to their family. But they don't want to do nothing with something else happening to somebody else. Like, bro, I be seeing all, even, even black men who older, like, I seen this lady, man, in Philly, bro. This lady on uh, on the news in Philly, bro. She had seven kids. She had seven kids by this nigga. She put a uh, restraining order out on him. And he was, wasn't supposed to be near. This nigga got in the car and stabbed her, stabbed her every motherfucking way, left a knife in her head, nigga. And they got seven kids. You got to be... That's some hate shit, bro. You you dig what I'm saying? Like, you had to hate your baby mama to do some shit like that. But it's fucked up because, bro, black men nowadays, we do so much fucked up and shit to people, bro. And, and just in, in, in the world, like, I, can, I really say that we are the most violent. We violent to each other, violent to women. Viol bro, it's fucked up to say, bro, like, we are, bro. We really are. Uh, it, it's not that many black men in this world that honestly is good, but it is a lot of us. And it's not a lot of us. It's not that many. It's not that many of us, nigga. We ain't put our hands on our mama. Why is we putting our hands on women? I don't give a fuck what a woman done to us, bro. It makes us look more like a bitch because we willing to put our hands on a woman just because we're feeling some type of way. My nigga, that ain't how shit roll, man. Nigga, if you don't do that shit to your mama, why do that shit to a woman you say you love, my nigga? I say this shit all the time. We kill each other over shit that don't matter. Blocks we don't own. Drugs that somebody can steal from us. Money that really ain't ours, nigga. We work for that shit. We, we, we bound to go to jail behind some shit. We risking our life every fucking day for something that don't matter. Why risk your life to go outside with a bunch of niggas that don't care about you? It's really a crabs in the... It's really a crabs in the bucket ass situation, bro. Nigga, your mother matter, your family matter, your kids matter, nigga. Don't nobody life matter more than you, nigga, because you got to stay alive for the people that love you out here the most. Nigga, when you lose your life, bro, your mother is hurt by that, nigga. Her kid dying at a young age, 18, 17, 16. Some of these OG niggas don't know no better because they try to walk you down the same road they went. They ain't no OG. OG is a nigga who puts you in position, show you love. They do what they supposed to do around for young men, bro. They tell niggas, they show niggas the game. They don't put niggas to work. Some of these OG niggas do shit to you. Do shit to you that other people won't do. Like, you got to understand, bro. We all are trying to grow at a younger age. You have to let us grow at a younger age. Let motherfuckers grow at a young age. You got to prepare to be 
older and your certain type of caliber, learn that everything that you do in the world has a, a, a plethora or has a certain situation that goes down. Respect yourself. Respect everything that come with it. Some of these niggas don't want you to do nothing but be just like them. So you have to be honorable of yourself and who you are. But peace. Follow me at actual truth underscore. Follow me at TG.2. Like, comment, subscribe to actual truth. Peace.